tutorial provides tips on how to determine or figure out what kind of information is needed for successfully completing different types of research assignments you may encounter in your classes. Tips on managing your time wisely when completing research assignments will also be covered. The best place to start with determining what kind of information you will need is with your assignment instructions. You may have received a copy of the assignment in class, or it may be available on your course's Blackboard site. Read through the assignment several times to make sure you understand what it is you are expected to do. The type of information you need will depend on the specific problem or assignment you've been given. As you read through your assignment, consider the following questions to determine the information and research requirements. What type of assignment is it? How much information do you think you'll need? Is currency an, an issue? Do you need information from a particular type of publication or source? And is point of view an issue? Tips on how to answer these questions will be provided on the following slides. Assignments can vary from a short five-minute oral presentation to a lengthy term paper on a complex topic. Other than brief speeches and in-depth term papers, many other types of assignments will have different research requirements. Some of the possibilities include creating bibliographies of useful sources on a specific topic, preparing a critique of a scholarly article or literary work, such as a poem or a short story, reviewing a film, music, or a piece of art, writing a biographical essay of a famous person, or you may be assigned to compose an essay describing your thoughts on an issue or current event. It is also important to consider how much information you will need to find. Some assignments can be completed by consulting brief summaries or overviews, such as those found in encyclopedias and other types of reference sources. While other assignments require more detailed and comprehensive information, as found in books, journal articles, and quality websites, as well as other sources of information. Some assignments require that you use the most current information, while others require historical information or information analyzing periods of time or trends. For some assignments, you may need information from particular types of publications or sources such as scholarly or professional journals that may be available through the Neely Library's online databases and periodicals department, as well as open access or free journal sites. You may also need to find information available through government data, newspapers, magazines, documentaries, or websites. In most cases, you will use secondary sources, such as books and articles, that analyze and synthesize original information or primary sources. Secondary sources also review past events and phenomena in order to create meaning or shed light on new perspectives gained through hindsight. However, you may be asked to use primary sources for one or more of your research assignments. Primary sources are documents, objects, or first-hand accounts that represent events or experiences as they happened. Examples of primary sources include diary entries, speeches, Facebook posts, photos, film footage, research data, maps, and artifacts created by people with direct or first-hand knowledge. Good researchers think critically and deeply about the points of view being represented in their work. For assignments such as debates or argumentative essays, you may need to find information that presents a particular point of view, opposing points of view, or a range of viewpoints. The Neely Library offers a variety of resources, 
such as the CQ Researcher and Opposing Viewpoints databases, which provide multiple viewpoints on many different current issues and controversial topics. As a reminder, Many of the sources previously mentioned can be found in person or online through the Santa Ana College's Neely Library. Please feel free to visit or contact the reference desk for assistance. To make research projects more manageable and less stressful, good researchers also plan out the phases of their research projects by setting aside time for locating research materials, reading the research materials carefully and taking notes, writing or putting together the research project, and meeting with instructors and librarians to ask questions about the assignment and receive research assistance. It is important to calendar in time for each of these phases of your research project along with the other obligations and activities you have in your life involving work, family, school, and other personal affairs. If you do not have a calendaring system set up for yourself, start thinking of a system that might work for you. Talk to your classmates and other people you trust for ideas. As for planning out the phases of your research project, your friendly librarians at the Navy Library are happy to help you plan out the phases of your research and figure out how much time you'll need to successfully complete it. Finally, if you have any questions about the assignment, it is good practice and your right as a student to ask your instructor for clarification. When asking questions of your instructor in person or through email, be sure to explain what it is specifically about the assignment that you do not understand. Remember that it may take them some time to get back to you with a response. This is another reason why you will want to start your research early and plan to give yourself plenty of time to complete the different phases of your project.